All right. Now, what we are looking at might just be the very best Samsung DeX accessory uh, for your lineup. It is... Let me see if I can get the flash on here. No flash? Interesting. It is the... What is it called? Basius? Basius. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Basius. Um, basically, I'm, uh, look, I don't know what the official name is. I'll find it and put it in the description box. But it's for... Um, it it's uh for any look you don't have to have a samsung phone you could put your nothing phone on there or a pixel phone which i'm recording on on there and charge it and you can connect all these external um storage devices um you can plug mouses in wired mouses keyboards um you can even charge it right look it uh, shows charging up there there's a little USB Type-C plug I will show you about. Now, this one does have one downside, uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. As you can tell, the red light is on the USB uh, external storage stick. You have two USB inputs on the left side there. You have, I believe one is 3.0. That's 3.0 USB Type-A. That's... USB Type-A 2.0, so you have a 3.0, 2.0, and then on this side, you have a slot for a uh, micro SD card up top, and then you have a slot for regular sized um, um, SD card slot, and then you have another USB Type-A 3.0 uh, port. If I can pull this out with one hand, I'll show you. If you can look down there, it is blue, right? The blue uh, USB ports is indicates it's a 3.0 uh, universal serial bus. Let me plug this back in and show you. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. It'll also charge other devices. See? Charged. It's telling me it's charged. I've had it plugged in for a few minutes, but you can also transfer files to and from each phone. Let's say you have this phone, you got a picture on there. You don't want to send it wirelessly or through the cloud. What you can do is once you plug your phone in here, you can connect this device. They'll know each other is connected. You can transfer the file to your Samsung or what other, what other phone you have on there. And then from your Samsung, it's plugged in to the uh, computer. That's plugged in to my monitor. And you can simply take the file transfer me from here to here. And then to your computer via Samsung DeX or monitor. Uh, um, whichever one you want. You don't have to have a computer. This is basically... Uh, probably the most underrated feature. Now there are there is some content right on the uh, on Samsung Dex. Well, actually, there, there's a lot, but not that I, I still don't hear many people talk about it and or use it. That's one of the most it's talked about, but it's one of the most underrated features of these Samsung phones because it's basically a desktop. You, you look, I have my computer plugged in because this is where I do some of my work, but you don't even have to have a computer. You can do everything from here. So you basically get, as you know, desktop experience um, similar to, look, it doesn't have all the features Windows does, obviously, but you can do everything on your phone. You can do on here. Just makes it a much nice, uh, uh, much nicer uh, experience, right? You can plug in keyboard wirelessly to there. Uh, 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 excuse me, you can plug it in wired if you have to, but I have mine uh, wireless. You can either plug it in if you have a, a USB receiver that connects to your mouse or your keyboard, or you can pair Bluetooth. Your These are the mouse and the keyboard is Bluetooth. So I have these two paired to the phone, and then I can simply use it as normal. 
Same thing with the keyboard. Use it as normal. Now, I have the uh, Samsung keyboard that's specifically designed for Samsung DeX, as you can tell right there. Um, who, Samsung is the manufacturer of this keyboard. Um, I might do a review on this later, but anyways, this is so freaking awesome. Um, now on the back, check this out. On the back, it has a USB Type C port. You can and it transfer. It powers your device as you as we noticed earlier, and it's a data cable as well. So if you want to plug this into your computer, uh, if you want to plug this into your computer for file transfers, you know, or, and then plug this into your monitor, you can or your computer. So it's got a HDMI standard. I believe I'm not sure what what version that is. Does it say? HDMI 4K. Okay, so you got a 4K HDMI plug-in. You have a power and or data USB Type-C uh, cable. Again, you have USB 3.0, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, S uh, micro SD, regular standard SD card, and then you got the mount for your phone now um this is where the only negative that i can think of um on this little mount i believe it was like 30 something dollars i'll link it in the description uh we do not get uh we're not affiliated with any any companies uh so we don't get any kickbacks i'm not trying to sell you anything i just simply review cool stuff uh, and this is definitely cool. It's nice if you're sitting at your desk just like this. And um, let me pull up my chair. And you can simply... Uh, sorry, kind of shaky. You can simply boom, 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 do your work. And while you're working on Samsung DeX, you can use your device as normal. So if you want to watch a YouTube video, if somebody texts you, you can also have it set up. So when somebody texts you, you know, you'll get it. Uh, on Samsung DeX so because this is your phone operating system. But this is not a review of Samsung DeX. I, I really want to review this uh, dock, right? But I'm just giving you uh, one of the numerous uh, examples and features that this provides. This 30 something dollars that this dock costs goes a long way. Um, I can see anybody using this in multiple scenarios, whether you're at home, uh, at your office, away from home, or if you have a home office, um, uh, where else? I mean, the possibilities are really endless. I mean, your phone recognizes the storage units. If you have external storage, the device recognizes it. And like I said, you can even charge um, another phone here or whatever you want. So let's see, we got, now I did take a storage device out and plugged it back in. That's why it's asking me to restart my phone. As you can tell, Samsung DeX is connected. And then down here, you have your options on how you want to control the plug-in down here that's plugged into the USB Type-C. Let's see, you have all your standard USB settings here. And then, let me see what it says on this bottom. It just gives you indication. Okay. Now, back to that one downside. So, here's the deal. Um, it's not, look, depending on who you are, it could be a big deal. For me, it's not that big of a deal because I change my case uh, so many times on my device throughout the day. I have a case for that I use in home, kind of like a thin case like this. I have a case that I use when I go in my car because I have a mag, uh, magnetic car mount on a specific case I use in my car. And then I have a case for when I get out of the car because typically when you get out of a car, you're, you know, 99% of the time you're getting out on pavement, on concrete, on cement, where possibly gravel. So if you drop your phone, 
there's a high probability you're going to break something, crack a screen, get a dent at least in the frame. So I have, I when I leave the home, I got like three, well, I have more than three cases, but uh, you know what I mean. I just changed my case a lot. So long story short, it's not a big issue to me, but I can see it being an issue for some. And what is that issue? The USB type C that is, let me see how low I can get, that is in there. Um, basically any case won't, won't work, right? If you have a case on your S23 Ultra or whatever phone you have, this will work on a Note 20 Ultra. That's what I've used this on, S21, S22. Basically, and not only Samsung, it'll work on uh, the Nothing phone. I plugged that in and it reads the external storage. I've used it on my Pixel. It works for that. So uh, even Motorola, I believe they have a desktop experience. They would work for Motorola devices. So, um, but here's the deal. I'm trying to find, let me grab, I think this is the thinnest case I have for the S23 Ultra. Let, let's give this one a try and see. I don't think I have any more. I think this is the thinnest case that I have for the S23 Ultra. Let's put this on the phone and let's, let's sit it on the dock and the, on the little USB type C plug and see if it'll pick it up because there's just that much, you see how thick it is or how thin it is, but just that little amount of thickness prevents the USB Type-C um, uh, plug to, uh, it prevents it from going inside the port um, on the bottom of your phone fully. So in other words, it won't read or register your device with a case on your device when you plug it in. Let me uh let me pause it. Uh, hang on one second. I'll put this on the phone. It's hard to do it with one hand. And real quick, before I put the phone in the case and then in the in the dock, let me show you what this looks like. So there's the USB Type C port. It is it is uh, nice and firm. It does not really wiggle. It does not feel loose. I mean, I can a little bit, but like, it's not loose by any means. And then you say, and then you also have this flap here, which you can. Damn it, I didn't even get it on screen. You it has this little flap here, or you can fold over. I believe it snaps in place. No. So it simply folds in a place like that when you want to put the phone so it can rest back on this. But you could, to protect this, if you're traveling, if you take this with you in a backpack, look how small it is. Um, look, here's a mouse, a standard size mouse. It's basically the size of a, of a little, little bigger than a mouse. Look, you can take that with you in your backpack, take a little external monitor, um look i used to carry check this out i used to carry in this this was my setup you can basically have a mobile office uh on the go with this dock because if you have a 13 inch monitor or whatever mine was a 13 but take it with me 13 inch monitor take it with me in a sleeve and then basically all you would need is your s23 ultra you would need this dock right here and then basically a small keyboard and a small mouse, boom, and you got an office on the go. I mean, this is awesome. So getting back to here, I don't think it snaps down. Does it snap into place? It should, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's not, I haven't done it in a long time. So it snaps into place just like that. So when you're traveling, you don't damage the USB Type-C plug. But let's pop it up. I don't think it goes in any other any other form, just like that. Okay, uh, let me put the case on. Hang on. All right, now I have the case on here. Uh, that's again. That's probably just look. That's the thinnest case that I have. So, if it will not work with this, I doubt it will work with anything else. Uh, and again, that's probably point three or point. That's probably point four or five millimeters thick on the bottom there. That's that's coming out from the USB Type C port. But again, 
if they would have just made this one sit a little higher, I think it would have worked. So that's the only hassle with this. If you use this with whatever phone, you're going to have to take the case off, which sucks. But it is what it is. So let's give it a try. I'm going to turn the screen off. I have it set to, if you plug it in, the screen will illuminate when it's charging or plugged into something. And then we'll also check check and see if it's plugged in. Let's see. So if you line it up just right. There we go. Oh, it did, but I pushed it down. Is it? I'll be damned. It does work. I tried it um, before I hit record and it didn't. Maybe the secret is you just got to push it in. Uh, maybe I didn't push it in fully. Wow. Well, cool. Well, then uh, you can exclude that uh, negative I had on here. So, But check it out. Long story short, you're going to have to use a thin case because I guarantee you a case like... Actually, you know what? Let's try it. A case like... I think this is my thickest case that I have. Is this caseology case. It's pretty damn... Well, it might work. It's not that much thicker. Let's give it a try. Hang on. Okay, we're back. I got this case on it. Uh, let's see how thick it is. Not that much thick. Oh, it is a little thicker, I can tell. Uh, maybe by 0.1 1 .1 millimeters. Let's give it a try. Let me switch hands. Oops, I did that on accident. Okay. See if I can line it up just right. Hmm. Hang on. A little tricky. There we go. Okay, so I, it's in there now. Let's see if I push it down if that's the trick. It works. See the charging indicator on the top right of the screen? That means it's plugged in. So if you're getting power, you will be able to get data transfer as well. Now let me take my hand off of it and see what happens. It might disconnect. Let's see. Pay attention to the top right. It works. Wow. Well, that's good. Cool. All right. Well, I take that back. You don't have, I mean, you can use a case with it. All right, well, I think that's, I think the the problem, you know, I've had this thing for, a, you know, a little while, um, never made a video of it, and I was using it, and I was like, why hadn't I made a video about this? But in the past, I would just set the phone on it with a case, and be like, damn, it doesn't, you know, it's too thick. And uh, the key is, pop it down. Now, don't put a lot of force, it does not take a lot of force. You don't want to damage your device or break the USB Type-C plug that's sticking up. Don't use a lot of force. All it takes is just a little snug, little, uh, just a little force, downward force. Again, don't push it too hard. You don't want to break anything. All it needs is a tiny little help just to secure the Type-C connection between the dock and your phone. Still working? Sweet. Cool. All right, well, um, I guess that'll do it. Is there anything else I'm trying to think of? You know what? It comes with... I don't think it comes with any cables. Uh, I believe it just comes with the dock. Uh, but again, you should have everything, right? You, cables um, should have everything. But yeah, it, you, you can use it as external storage if you took pictures on a... Uh, on a uh, digital camera or, or a uh, another a vlogging camera or something, Sony camera with an SD card or a drone with an SD card, you can come home, plug your phone in, plug your uh, SD card in from your uh, drone or whatever it is, and then you can do file transfers either to your phone or if you have, plug it into a computer, you can do it from your, uh, plug it in to your, you can transfer it to your computer, I'm sorry. So it just makes it uh, life a lot easier. This um, dock right here, very, very cool little dock. Now, real quick, I want to know, hang on, let's do this. Damn it, 
It's hard to work with one hand. Hang on. Okay, I had to take the device out. I actually want to flip it over and see what... See what we're working with. What does it say down here? It says... Basius Mate Docking. Type C mobile phone intelligent hub docking station pro. That is a long ass name. Model B S O H O zero three six. Output five volts nine amps five volts half an amp. Input five volts three amps nine volts three amps fifteen three twenty. Five, which is for lap for computer. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Well, now you have all that info. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. Let me take all this stuff out, and I'll show you what we're working with. Now that SD card doesn't go in all the way. The uh, the micro SD card. That's as far as it goes, right there. Take everything out. Let me show you what, it, what we got. Oh, I'm sorry. It just has one USB 3.0. So that USB 3.0 is the blue one. And then you got the micro SD right there. Wow. You got the PD power delivery type C on the back. HDMI 4K. So this thing packs a punch, right? You don't want to have a dock and then it limits your power supply or how fast you can charge something or your data transfers. Or you don't want to have a dock and then you can't, you know, plug it into your monitor and it's only 1080p. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants that. You want to have the same experience on your phone as on a monitor, right? And this is what this will provide. USB 2.0, USB 2.0. And there is the plug. Now, here's uh, something I just remembered. This does come with, uh, and I took it off so I could fit my phone in there. This does come with a, like a strip, right? Like a little strip. It's kind of like a mouse pad feeling, but on the op, like up here, but on the bottom, it's like real sticky. Well, this one came with it, with another one. Oh, do I, oh, check this out. I got it right here. That's it. So it comes with this. Don't ask me why I peel, I mean, don't ask me why I stuck it to a bed frame. Um, but it comes with this in here, right? So it comes with this in, uh, yeah, it's nasty. It's been on there for a little while. So it comes with this sticky thing right there, like a pad, so an anti-skid pad. So when you put your phone in there, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't you know, wobble or, you know, just gives it extra, uh, uh, make sure it's your phone is secure in there. When you put it on, when you put your phone in there, watch this. It's not enough. I don't have it plugged in now, but I'm just going to show you this as a, an example. It was creating too much space. It was not allowing the USB plug, uh, USB Type-C plug that's facing up. There's too much padding on the bottom, so the phone couldn't fully sit down on the plug. And then the phone, I think, wouldn't register or with the case. That's what it was. That's what it was. If you want to use this, sorry, if you want to use this dock with a case, you're going to have to take out this little stripping that it comes with it this dock comes with that stripping i just put on there but look it adds like 0.1 millimeters depth right so it adds it adds right there it adds depth and it's too much if you want to use your phone with a case you're going to have to peel this off because if you have it on there and a case it's too much space. There's too much distance from for the USB Type C plug to fully 
insert itself inside the phone and then your phone won't charge or it won't you know the data uh, won't be connected basically your phone won't connect if you have a case on it and this stripping is in there so that's what i did i simply peeled that off threw it to the side and then that would allow it to work that's what it was i apologize for not remembering but uh it just it just came to mind right now but long story short um that's the um basius basius forgive me if i'm pronouncing it wrong uh docking station now it doesn't say specifically for samsung decks i don't believe but obviously it's perfect for samsung decks so i'll link this in, in the description box below if you got any questions comments um if you have any questions on will this work will that work uh with the docking station uh, just hit me up in the comments I will answer any questions or concerns that you have in regards to this or anything. So uh, I do appreciate the time, and uh, I will hit y'all up later. Peace.